Knives are cool. And axes too. Yeah! Like, action. Hello again, everybody. Robert Breaker here with you, and this will be, I guess, my second video on my new channel, Knives Are Cool and Axes Too. And uh, last time, my first video, I talked about this, my first pocket knife that my grandpa gave me. And I'll put it down here. And um, I thought in this video, it might be fun to show the collection of knives that I got when my grandpa passed away. He passed away in 1986 and uh, everybody in the family got something and I got the little junk drawer of all of his collection of knives. And I've always kept this and I've always thought this was neat and I haven't looked at it in years. So I can't wait to get it open and to look inside and see what's in here. So we're going to look at this together and uh, there's a mystery knife in here. By that I mean there's a knife that I have no idea what this knife is for. And all my life, something like 37 years, I've wondered, what is this knife? What is the purpose of it? Why was it made the way? It, it's got to be some sort of a specialty knife for something, but for what? So come on around here as we lay it out. We're going to look at this together. And you've got to be straight up, looking straight down. And try not to get any shadow in. Here we have the old box of wax paper. And here are some of the knives that were my grandpa's. Matter of fact, over the years, I added another knife for my other grandpa. This would be my other grandpa's Boy Scout knife. I thought that was cool. But let me put all these together. Not everything in the box is something that you need to see, I guess. I don't know what all that is. An old pin in the shape of a hammer. That's kind of cool. I got that in Mexico. I remember that now. Let's look at these and let's get rid of this wax paper. And these are just knives that were my grandfather's that uh, when he passed away, they came to me. So let's check this out. And some of these, I think I threw in the pile over the years. Yep, look at that. UFO Museum, Rosmel, New Mexico. I got that in 1999 or 2000. So I threw that in here as well. And uh, let's get these laid out here. The mystery knife is this one, and I can't wait to get to it. But uh, they're basically just a bunch of pocket knives and, and different things. Now this one, let's look at this one. This got a belt loop on it. And is this a good knife? It's got brass, it's a locking blade, and oh no, Pakistan. <laughs> most of you know that Pakistan is not the best made knife. So this is not the most valuable in this group. Matter of fact, I'm gonna just get rid of that one. Uh, not a good knife. Now then, what have we got? Well, this is like I said, this one didn't come from my grandpa. I just put this in the box over the years. This is from Roswell, New Mexico. Little keychain. Little Swiss Army knife, actually, and it does have the tweezers. Cool. So I went to the UFO Museum many years ago, and there's the toothpick in Roswell, New Mexico, and got that as a souvenir. This, I believe, when I graduated high school, this is one of my gifts, so I put this in there as well. My initials, and it's just a thing for your fingernails and a knife on the other side. What does it say there? Anvil, and I don't know, can you read that, what it says, where it's made? Anvil. Okay, I don't know either, <laughs> somewhere. But that was uh, one that I... Pro USA. Pro USA, okay. So I remember getting this as a gift from high school, so that's kind of cool. Um, so we looked at those two. Now, here's another one. My mom got me this many years ago before I graduated high school. And I don't know, can you see the praying hands right there? And my mom always told me, I always remember to pray, son. You see, there's like a faint hands, like clasp in prayer. Can you see it on the camera? And this is just a little thing, stainless steel Japan. A lot of people use this as a money clip or just stick it in their, their pockets. But I always remembered from my grandpa, one of my favorite knives was this knife right here. And it's come off. I had the original sticker on it over the years. I can't read it. But I always liked the little ornamental parts of that. It's made in Thailand. Look at that, Thai. And I think this whole knife is made out of brass. It's nothing special, 
but it is kind of cool just the design of it look it's it's way warped it's not very well made not very sharp but i just always remembered that design and just always liked that design right there here's a case my grandpa would have carried that for many years this is one of his cases boy he sharpened that my grandpa it's a double x had a um, bicycle business and so look at that it's pitted this was something my grandpa would have used in his bike shop many, many times. And boy, he almost wore that thing out. Beautiful little case knife. Um, put this one aside for a second. Now this one has rusted over the years. Look at that. It looked like this when I had it as a kid. Now look at this side, it's all rusted. It has a fish on it. And so this is some sort of a fishing knife and I can't even read anything on there. It is so rusted. Maybe my daughter can read what that says. Oh, it says Imperial, right? Can you read the rest of it? Imperial USA. So that's an Imperial knife that looks like it's for, um, for fishing. Does it say Imperial? Imperial USA. Imperial USA, okay. And look, that something tells me at one time that thing was a lot longer. I wonder if it broke on my grandpa and he just cut it and trimmed it and sharpened it. But uh, this would have been in the pocket of my grandpa as he went fishing. Boy, how nostalgic that is. I've always liked this little Sears Craftsman. It says Sears Craftsman on it, and uh, it's a pretty sharp little blade. And who's it made by? Oh, now that's too small for me. What does that say, honey? <laughs> okay, so whatever she said, I can't read it. Soligen? Is it some? So is it German? Okay. And uh, it's from uh, Sears. Sears used to sell knives and guns and all sorts of things. Here's another little present I think for my high school. I got a bottle opener and uh, a knife. Stainless steel Japan. This one actually has some scissors in it. It's kind of cool. So that's that. And then we have this which is very interesting this was my grandfather's straight blade that he used to actually shave with easy cutter and when he died they gave me the strap the big it's about that wide long strap of leather that he would use to sharpen this and he was he was old school and he actually used this to shave with and boy is it sharp that is wow that is just amazing right there and now this is the mystery knife. I'm gonna put this aside for last, but this one right here, this was actually my other grandpa's Boy Scout knife when he was a kid. And when he passed away in 92, I believe it was, I got it from him. It's made by Ulster USA, has the Boy Scout symbol right there on it. Got a bottle opener, got a blade, got the second blade. Oh wow, this one's not very sharp. That's not very sharp at all. That one's probably more for knots and things like that. And then we have this here, which is, oh, a screwdriver. Look at that, flathead screwdriver, back when they used more flat than they did Phillips. So this is very special to me because one grandpa's knife, the other grandpa's knife. So I got both of my grandpa's knives. So this was the, the little collection. Over the years, I had more but I kind of weeded out the ones that weren't all that great. There was a lot of broken ones, and I went ahead and got rid of the ones that were broken. I probably should have kept them. But now we have this knife, and this knife right here, my goodness, my whole life, I've always wondered what is this knife right here. Hopefully, I'm hoping that if you're watching this, you can shed some light on what I call the mystery knife. What is this knife? All right, let's look at it. It has this strange bottom piece, almost could sit up like that. What is that for on a knife? My thought is possibly this knife is probably for some sort of leather work maybe, and somehow you're pushing this down or something. But you look and you see this blade and it says on it, and I cannot read that, is it Mina or Albina? It says stainless steel Japan, but this is in cursive. Can you read that top line there, honey? What does that say? I thought it said M-I-N-A, but it doesn't. What does it say? Uh, A-K-I-N-A. A-K-I-N-A. A-K-R-N-A. A-K-R-N-A. A-K. 
I don't know. I don't know. A K I N A. Oh, A K I R A. Akira, maybe is what it says in Japan. So this is really sharp right there. It's a tiny blade, but notice how it has no no point. It's just a. It's it's weird. This blade is not for stabbing. But look at this. Not sharp at all. This is not a blade. What is this? It's. Almost looks like it would probably be, like I said, some sort of leather tool, maybe punching a hole in a belt or something. But I would very much like to ask anyone who knows more about knives than I do, leave in the comments what you think this knife is. Because I have no idea. Look at the shape of it. It's kind of an odd shape. Um, it looks like almost a grinding stone is what that feels like. I wonder if that you could sharpen with that. It almost feels like the outside's a grinding stone and it's got this strange blade and it's got that strange piece there so this has got to be one of the strangest knives that i have ever seen have no idea what it was for um, someone please look that up and leave in the comments because i would love to know what this knife is and what it was for and why would my grandfather have that now my grandmother believe it or not had her own business where she made belts and she was very much into um, making things out of leather. And I actually have her leather kit of all the tools she had for the belt. She, she literally bought a car after making belts. She was very sought after. Um, her daughter and her husband owned a Western world, so it was all about leather goods and things like that. So again, my thought was maybe this was hers and it had something to do with leather working. I don't know. So please, I'm making this video for several reasons. First and foremost, to just kind of nostalgia, go back in time and think about the, the things that I went through and some of the knives that my grandpa and my other grandpa would have held in their hands and would have used and carried in their pocket for years. But also to find out what is this knife? Please, if you have any information, leave that in the comments because we would really like to know what this thing is. It looks like in cursive, A-K-I-R-A, -A, Akira, stainless steel. So zoom in on that. This is my, well, my first collection of knives, if you will, from about age 12 up to about eight, eight, 18, or, or um, a little after that. Just a little box of the knives that I used to keep. And um, the majority of them were from my grandfather when he died, Pappy, or Jasper. Then some of these were you know, high school graduation gifts and other things. But this was from my other um, grandfather. He was uh, the senior and my dad was junior and I'm the third. And then this little cheapy, I'll probably get rid of this thing, this little Pakistani thing. But the fact that it belonged to my grandpa, it says it right on it, Pakistan, just makes it almost want to keep it. So let me know what you think about my little collection and uh, who knows what the value is. But to me, priceless amen i don't really want to sell any of these because they're family heirlooms but um go back over there and zoom in on me but i would like to know what is that right there and what is the purpose of it if you if you do know what it is let us know what it is maybe it is for leather working but what would the purpose be of each one why this long square looking thing with no blade on it whatsoever what's that for is that for poking holes like in a belt what is this one for with no point? Why is it just sharp? And what does that do? That piece right there lets you sit the whole thing up in the air like that and it just doesn't, does not compute. I don't understand what that's for. But I thought I'd share that with you and hopefully we can, um, we can figure out together. Leave in the comments, what is that if you know? All right, appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time. And our next video, I think, will be quite a blessing because I'm going to tie this all into what I am, a preacher. And one of the things I like about knives, one of my favorite knives, was made by a preacher in Finland. So make sure you watch the next video. We'll learn something together, I think. And I think it'll be a blessing. So thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Good.